During Restoring Love, we had book signings. David Barton was one of them. Michelle Bachman was one of them. We, we had... Um, Patton Stu was one of them. Whatever. Hello. Uh, we had... Huge, uh, huge. Brad Thor. 737,000 people lined up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brad Thor was there. I mean, we had some really big authors. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was Richard Paul Evans. Richard Paul Evans. <laughs> was that an insult? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> then this guy. <laughs> Richard Paul there. Evans. I, let me explain. Richard Paul Evans is one of the reasons why uh, the Department of Homeland Security came to us and said they were worried about crowd control. Mm. His line for his book signing for Michael Vay, uh, The Rise of the Elgin, which is the Michael Vay, the second in the series, the reason why they said they were concerned about crowds, his line was a quarter of a mile long. Um, and you just told me, I didn't know this story, you stood in your own line. Yeah, I thought that was a line to get into the event. So I, I was there two hours early. I waited in line and thought, this line's not going anywhere. So what I'm, a buffoon. So, <laughs> thank, thank you. In, in, Brad in, Thor wouldn't have done that. No, nope. nope. I'm a humble guy, okay? So I, I walked around. You stood in your own line. Yeah, and so you're, that's funny. And so then I walked around and went to the front. Like, I'm going to, I have to get in there. And uh, when I got to the front, people were wearing these T-shirts they had made that said Vaniacs. And they mm. start pointing at me, and this guy said, this is your line for your book signing. I said, no, no, no. You know, so funny is you're standing in your own line. <laughs> Nobody knew. They're all waiting to meet you. They're all waiting to get your autograph, and the people around you had no idea that it, who you were. Well, it's, it's all context. <laughs> it's so amazing. Um, the, um, the Michael Vay series, I'm just, you know, my kids were a little too young to read it last year. Uh, Rafi's just about eight now, and I'm reading it to uh, my son and my daughter, who is uh, seven. And uh, w- we love it, just love it. Um, I've been waiting to be able to share um, the books with them. And uh, I told Rafe last night, we're just about finished with the first one, and I told Rafe last night, I said, we have to finish this because the new one comes out tomorrow. And I told this story earlier. He looked at me like, he is not buying into me. And he's like, what are you selling? And I looked at him and I said, what's the problem? He said, dad, it comes out tomorrow. And I said, yeah. He said, then how come we've had a copy for about a month? <laughs> he was discovering dad's a liar. Um, but uh, uh, so we start. I haven't, I haven't read it yet because I want to read it with the kids. Tell me about Rise of the Elgin. Rise of the Elgin, of course, takes off where the first book ended. Michael's mother was kidnapped, and in Rise of the Elgin, uh, Michael is going down to to save his mother, and it takes them to South America and into the jungles of the Amazon, which I've actually spent a lot of time in the jungles. We um, have done a lot of humanitarian work down there, so um, it's it's a ride. <laughs> that's all I can say. It's it's fun. It's it's a little bit scarier than the first book, but I think that's good for especially yeah. the young male readers. You are. Um, um... You and I have uh, one thing in common on when it comes to books, and we it sets us apart, I think, from the rest of the publishing world. Um, when you first had this book, you went to publishers, and they said... They weren't interested. I mean, remember how much fun we had last year, Glenn? Oh, yeah. Because no one believed in the book. I know. The book debuts at number one on the I New know. York Times. By this, I don't know if you know this, by the second day, it was in its sixth printing. By the second day out. Holy cow. Yeah, they basically, Simon Schuster stopped all the other books and just printed Michael Vay to keep up with the demand. The um, uh, the book comes out, and all of the publishers kept saying, you have to um, dumb it down, right. dumb it down. And when I read it, I said, Richard, uh, smarten it up a little bit. It's got to be a little smarter and a little darker um, uh, for kids. This is uh, our first, uh, as Mercury, Inc., This is my first um, moving into um, try to get the young adults in a way that they understand. Everybody else tries to get, everybody else is like, I've got to do a moralistic book now. And go like, gee, Wally, mom's going to be so upset when they find out. Leave it to Beaver doesn't connect. It just doesn't connect if the kids are in the filth that's out there. So this is kind of going into their world and dragging them back. Right. If you want to teach about self-sacrifice, you could put an essay on there, or you could do what Zeus does 
when all of a sudden they're being they're in a hall filled with rats, and he. Well, well, don't tell me. Away. I don't want to. Yeah, don't give me. But 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 but, mm. but you know he. They make these kids make sacrifices for their love because their love and their friendship. And it's easy to be able to read it with your kids and have conversations that are real, that are not moralistic, that are just real conversations. Um, what are the um, uh, what are you seeing? Did we give this out to advanced readers? I know we did some, but have you gotten any reviews back or anything from advanced readers? Getting it back on my Facebook page, and what they're saying is most are saying it's better than the first book. Um, getting a lot of, well, it's, it's a little bit scarier than the first book, a lot of fun. And what I'm really hearing is the end of the book, the last third, once you start there, you'll be up all night reading it because once it starts rolling, uh, you can't stop. How many people are saying it needs more vampires? A lot? Are you getting a lot of that? You know what? People are Shakespearean s- vampires. People though. are so you glad there's no vampires. <laughs> I bet. And no wizards. Have you se- I mean, have you seen yeah. the bookshelves, especially yes. for young adults? There, you can't find anything that's not now, vampire you know related. You know why? It's because, ridiculous. Because nobody is independent. They're all it's, just they're sheep. All sh- yep. They're all sheep. Yep. And so somebody comes up with Doing a good a idea Stephanie and a Miller good book. Thing. Yeah, Stephanie Meyer does, a, you know, does the Meyer, Twilight thing, and then, and then everybody's like, well, the kids love vampires. No, right. it was a really good story. Can you yep. stop and come up with something original, which is, which is what you did with um, Michael Vay. Let me, um, uh, I, I can't help and i hope i don't make you uncomfortable but i can't help because i'm reading it now and michael keeps talking about his tics uh, michael has tourette syndrome right you have tourette I, I have tourette syndrome and he keeps saying when he's it, right when he gets into a nervous situation or he's about to you know be around a girl or whatever he starts you know twitching and his eye starts blinking like i am right now yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're not now but when <laughs> pat was talking to you yeah. your eye was twitching you have a crush on him, or no? It's just, it's mm-hmm. anxiety. Mm-hmm. It's anxiety. And that's what Michael uh, Taylor can always in the book can tell when Michael's nervous because he starts twitching. Twitching. Mm. How was that when you were growing up? How much of this? How much of Michael is you? Uh, most of it, and I don't. I didn't realize it till I, after the book was out a year, that uh, a friend came and said, "You know, this is you, right?" You do know mm. you wrote a book about yourself. And, Except you're not electric. Uh, I'm not electric. But the, the electricity is really a metaphor of the power we have within ourselves, the, the, uh, whether it's our love or our talents. Um, it's, it's just one other different thing we can use. And I had different, I didn't have electricity. I had a different way of communicating with other people. There is a great, um, uh, there are several scenes in it that are, I mean, I, I think towards the very beginning, and I think what people, um, Kids and adults see in it is themselves. You say Michael Vay is you. I don't have Tourette's, but I had kind of the childhood that Michael Vay had too, where you were just kind of the loser kid and you got beat up and, you know, whatever. Um, and I think a lot of us had that kind of experience. Yeah, no, I know. It's crazy. People didn't want to hear about George Washington. Um, but uh, uh, the um, uh, that you see yourself and your own childhood, and we all kind of see ourselves as the um as the outsider being picked on somebody but there's a really important scene in the first book um about when michael teams up with the guys who have been beating up on him and i just read this part with rafe about two days ago and it was such a great conversation to have with rafe where you realize what these kids who are bullies what's happening to them in their life and it just, it, I could see lights go on in his head. Have you heard that very often? Have you heard that from anybody else? That, they're, that kids are, they're, they're, they're getting, they're not only seeing themselves, but they're opening up and seeing other things that they never even considered before? You know, express not quite so articulately. <laughs> well, you're being kind. <laughs> but but uh, what, what kids say is, wow, that's kind of tough being the boy. And... Um, but also, um, I can see why he does that. And Michael makes that statement. He goes, I probably would be shoving kids in lockers, too, if that happened to me at home. And so, um, in fact, Jack becomes one of the favorite characters. In fact, my daughter said, she's my writing assistant, she goes, I think Jack's my favorite character now. Is he in two? He's in two. He's a big part right. of two. And you get to see, um, one of the things that Michael is, why they love him so much, is that Michael brings the best out of everyone. So Jack, he knows Jack wants to be a hero. He wants to be like his brother who's a Marine. And Jack gets to play that part. 
and he becomes the best he can be, and all of them do. There's a scene in the jungle between Austin and McKenna, two of the characters, that I think is stunning in the second book. It's one of my favorite favorite things I've read of all my novels. I just read it over and over. I thought, I love that scene because she inspires him to be who he really can be. The name of the book is uh, Michael Vay 2, Rise of the Elgin, and it is available everywhere. Um, there's a reason why the line to get the autograph uh, on this book was a quarter of a mile long. Just think of that. <laughs> A quarter of a mile long for a book that most of America has not heard of really yet. I don't think this book will take off really until book three. Um, And that's when this book will really start to have momentum um, because that's the kind of the pattern of Mm -hmm. these Twilight and uh, Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and everything else. It starts to build momentum around book three. In book one, it was already um, a bigger seller than book one of Harry Potter when it was first released. It's actually Simon Schuster's largest uh, new series, young adult release, in their history. So So you got that going for you (laughs) now. There's a reason why it's a quarter of a mile long to say hello. Get your kids on the bandwagon and share it with a friend. It is a great way to teach your kids, a great way to just have a great read. And it's not just for kids, really not. It's It's a great book. Pat read it. Right, you loved. Oh yeah, it. I loved it. Yeah, loved it. Um, I read it by myself. I loved it, and this is one of the reasons why I said smarten it up a little bit because you can really make me love it. And Pat, after he read the edits, uh, Pat loved it as well. I mean, you can read it as an we, adult. We, as we well. ran into a little bit of a problem with the adults were liking it so much, then giving it to the kids. The kids, there's kind of this lag here. It's like if adults like it, then maybe we shouldn't be reading this. Yeah, don't let your kids know you like it. <laughs> but then they then they caught on, and their friends start telling yeah. them to read it. So. And that's where one of the reasons why also the uh, you know the the first book was uh, Prisoner of Cell Twenty Five and had kind of a dark cover because I wanted it to not be like your parents like. Yeah, well, this one is scary. It has rats on the cover. Yeah, for the second one, it's really good. Who's yeah. the artist that did the, oh, the cover? He, Do you he, remember? He, um, I forgot his name. He does video games. Yeah, it's fantastic. really, fantastic. really, really good. Okay, now, then, th- go ahead. You heard about the deal we have no. on the book today? No. Oh, it's fantastic. I only it's, run it's, the it's just, for, it's just for your listeners. Okay. Um, Premier set it up. If you go to, of course, it's available right now on Amazon and, oh, yeah, yeah. and Barnes & Noble. But if, if, but if you go to Premier, just actually go to michaelvey2.com. Michael, V-E-Y, 2, the number 2, number two. dot com. 50% off. Just like 9 bucks for the hardcover book. These are first edition copies, and may I make a recommendation? Keep your first edition copy. Buy two, put one on the shelf. Have you seen seen what a Harry Potter goes for? Buy two, put one on a shelf. Mark my words, I collect books. Michael Vay, first edition copies. uh, You can get them at michaelvay2.com. Only for this audience, 50% off today only if you go to michaelvay2.com. But tell all your... Tell all your, what did Michelle Obama call them? Knucklehead friends? <laughs> Tell all your knucklehead friends uh, that, they can, uh, that they can get it at Amazon.com. Okay. Richard, we'll uh, talk to you later. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Sponsor-